In one small town in the north of England, a battle is taking place. They're taking on the might of one of the fastest growing economies in the world. This is the Battle of Kirby versus China. And the weapon of choice, cushions. Until recently, China meant cheap, but not any longer. Factory boss Tony thinks Britain has a chance to profit from spiraling Chinese costs. In China, wage costs and general inflation is very high at the moment and it's becoming less and less competitive. While Malcolm does things his way, Tony wants two of his staff to see exactly what they're up against. He's taking two of his most trusted and experienced machinists, Joanne and Sharon, on a mission to China. He wants them to see the competition at first hand. It's a 12-hour flight to Hangzhou on the east coast of China. Tony's factory is located 50 miles north in Huzhou. It's a long way from Kirby. Everything's taxed out. Every factory we've gone past is taxed out. How can you we've not got a chance. And how can we compete with all these factories? It's like what we used to have, but we haven't got no more. So this must be where all the jobs have gone. Oh. The factories have shut in the UK. Yeah, must have been like here. Joanne and Sharon have arrived at 11.40, which at the Chinese factory means one thing. They're late for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> this meal costs just 30 pence. For Joanne and Sharon, seeing behind enemy lines is an eye-opener. Compared to Kirby, it's vast. The showroom alone is 12,000 square feet. Wow! Oh, the size of it! It's like a big department store. It's a first chance to inspect the standard of work of the competition. It's not just the size of the Chinese factory, but its low cost that makes it such a lean opponent. The flat rate of pay here is just one pound an hour, compared to six pound and eight pence in Britain. In filling and packing, there are very different ways of working to Kirby. This particular section works in a team and they're paid on a team bonus. Right. They do a little bit different to what we do. Yeah. yeah. It was uh, quite annoying me, really, because ours is a quicker pace. Because they do like everything as a team, like we do individual. And I just think I was at a lot quicker pace. And I couldn't believe the way they was filling to what, how we fill in the UK. The workers may be slower, but they work much longer hours. Overtime goes on till 9pm, and Sunday is the only day off. Finally, the sewing floor. We do zips different than that, but we have done zips like that. But it's very good. But there is hope for Kirby. Tony has already started scaling back his Chinese operation because wages have soared by 500% since he first came to the country. At one time, he employed 200 staff here. Now, he's just 50. Jong lives in this one small room with her husband, who also works at the factory. They have left their two children over 300 miles away with the grandparents. How many times do you go home? Once a year? Is that all you go home? Oh. You don't see your children only once yeah. a year? When you go home, how long do you stay for? Oh. Can you see yourself working at the employment where you are now for a long time? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's not just Sharon and Joanne who've noticed a difference between the two countries. Tony has as well. 
productivity in the UK factory is much higher than it is in the Chinese factory. Um, my UK staff sen- tend to have a longer attention span and they're able to, you know, to focus for longer periods of time. Whereas in China, they tend to work for longer hours, but don't tend to do as many um, products uh, per hour. But will his Chinese staff agree? Hey, Jai, Sophia, come in, come in. <laughs> now it's their turn to check out the competition. Tony's invited Jai and Sophia to look around his Merseyside factory, and there are some big differences. So here the machine do by itself. Ah, yes, just very to, clever. Just one to put person some, in China, we, we yeah, do by, by, by hand, yes, but this one to do by machine. In China, we use many workers to do, to do this kind of job. Hello, Hi. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Did you expect? Yeah. Miss you very much. Yeah. <laughs> so do you think we're fast, eh? Are you impressed? Yes. Yeah. Fast. I told you we're fast, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> Here it's very busy, not like a China warehouse. <laughs> Somebody looks a little lazy. Yes. People here are quicker than China workers. Here, um, have many uh, advanced machine and system. So here, save more time, save more space. This uh, we can study from UK factory. 